up, YouTube? Amanda here, and welcome back. It's been a hot minute, so I took a year off of YouTube, and I wanted to hop on here and just tell you guys what's been going on and kind of what my plans are for the future here. First off, I just want to say I am back, and I am definitely planning on making videos again. I missed it, and I am beyond ready to get back into YouTube. I don't have a huge following, but the few that do, I'm really thankful for, and I do see all of the really sweet comments. Uh, surprisingly, I'm still getting some followers and subscribers, uh, despite me not shooting literally anything in a year, but you guys are awesome, and I'm just ready. I'm definitely ready to be back. I actually have a really cool video I'm hoping to get out before the end of the year. As you can see, I've got just, I'm scattered in messes right now, but uh, very excited for that one. Stay tuned. I will hopefully get it out by the end of, year, end of the year, like I said. Fingers crossed, but I'm very excited for you guys to see that one. So yeah, I took a year off, and it's been an interesting year, to say the least. I will say it's been a pretty positive one. I know a lot of people say, oh, well, if they're taking a YouTube break, something's wrong. But no, everything's been really positive, actually. But I guess I can go ahead and let you guys know why I decided to take a break and when it started. So last year, right at the end of the year, I made a YouTube video about a motorcycle uh, that I no longer own. <laughs> I ended up getting a different bike, but that's beside the point. Uh, shortly after that video, unfortunately, I did get the ick, you know, the ick. And at the time, it was the Delta variant. And I honestly, I, I did have a, a pretty rough time with it. Nothing super serious but I did end up going to the hospital. I was only there for a day and the nurses were amazing. I was just struggling to breathe a little bit, but they took great care of me. And like I said, it was the Delta variant at the time. So uh, that variant was a little bit more taxing. And then of course I ended up giving it to my dad because he was the one that took me to the hospital. And it's just, it was just terrible. But needless to say, that was pretty much my entire Thanksgiving. In fact, I kind of figured out that I was positive once I I took a bite of my mom's sweet potato souffle on Thanksgiving which is my favorite dish like this is my favorite thing I eat in the year is my mom's sweet potato souffle and I took a bite and I realized I couldn't taste it so yeah that was it that was the telltale sign and I felt pretty pretty crappy at, at the time so anyway I recovered and then slowly unfortunately I got pneumonia that was probably worse than COVID to be honest so Pretty much Thanksgiving, I had COVID, and then December, around Christmas time, I had pneumonia, <laughs> and then I returned for work, and unfortunately, got COVID again. So needless to say, the year kind of started off on the wrong foot, to say the least, but it is what it is, and it was definitely not fun, but something in the midst of all of that, it made me kind of realize that uh, it was just honestly getting to the point where I really wanted to change just in general with uh, with my job and life and you know I had a lot of time to to think about things because I was so like isolated and uh, I really wanted to start a new journey and something different I felt like I was kind of stuck in a rut and at my job I felt like I kind of hit a wall so I had been at my job for about seven years at the time and I, I just noticed I really wasn't like I guess progressing as I wanted so I really was was dying for a change, and I'm not going to go into too much detail as to what my uh, job was, but I did work in television. Uh, I worked in production, so and I I actually really loved that field, and I I still love it to this day. But I wanted to go into a different field within the TV realm. But what I wanted to go for, I didn't have a whole lot of experience in. But I decided that you know it was worth a try. I had been doing TV for a while, and I. I was like, well, I, I, all I could do is try. So I decided to take a shot in the dark and I did go ahead and apply for this job that I've been kind of eyeing for a little while. Even though I didn't feel very qualified, I knew I had the passion and the will to at least try and do a good job and learn as much as I can. And so I went in and fortunately got the job. I absolutely love it, but to be honest, that's been my priority and my focus so far has been my my new job and just trying to get really, really good at it. So unfortunately, YouTube kind of got pushed aside, but I miss it so much. And now that I'm finally getting more comfortable, I'm at my new job now for about eight months and I'm finally feeling pretty confident and comfortable with everything. So I'm, I'm slowly finally bringing back my hobbies and 
Ugh, I'm just, I'm so glad. So like I said, mostly positive and I have never been happier. I'm just super happy with everything that's going on currently in my life. I have got to do so many cool trips this year. Uh, my work did end up sending me on a training trip that was really, really valuable. Uh, I got to hang out with family. It's just been great. It's been great. So with that being said, I really don't know what to do with my YouTube channel currently. I know YouTube loves the whole quantity over quality and that's just not me. I, I'm someone who can't just crank out videos uh, weekly or even daily. I don't know how people do that. I definitely want to get more into it, but also something else I struggle with is I have just, I have a lot of hobbies. I don't know if you could tell, and I don't really have one specific niche. I know a lot of successful YouTubers when they, uh, have something, they typically only shoot that one thing and that's what they stick to. I am someone who likes to be all over the place. I love sim racing. I love prop making. I love video games. I love all sorts of fun things. So I don't know exactly what I want to do. I think I'm going to probably end up changing my name. Let me know in the comments below if that is something that I should do. I think I'm just going to change it to my official name, but I don't know yet. I don't know. I don't know. So right now I don't really have a specific schedule with shooting, but I definitely am planning on cranking out more videos. That's definitely the plan in 2023 is to get out some more videos with you guys and just create a, a fun community and nerd out on things. That's what I do. That's what I am. I am a nerd and I am proud. And if you stuck around for this part of the video, thank you so much for just hanging out and watching and subscribing and I look forward to doing more fun things with you. So yeah, stay tuned for a future video and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.